Investigators have found that roughly 800 terrorists and 300 civilians were killed in the operation. In Israel, while many are dissatisfied with the current political system, the question remains what new format should be embraced. The political system in Israel doesn't work. I'm very unhappy with the political system in Israel at this time. The Knesset members that the people chose are not so honest and they're not doing the best for the Jewish people. They're just uh, trying to uh, get their chair there. It's a system that does not represent the people. The people go and vote, but the politicians are not beholden to them. They are not responsible to them. They don't listen to them. There is no... Um, there's no process in place to listen to the people. There is a feeling in much of Israel that the current electoral system is deeply flawed and that reform is necessary. The electoral system is what's known as a proportional representation system, whereby the entire country is, is uh, effectively one electoral district. Everyone votes not for an individual, not for a person, and this is a very Im important point, but for a list, a party list, for a party, for a label. When you do not have constituency elections, when you're voting for party slates rather than individual candidates who are responsible to you in a particular district, you have really broken the bond between the representative and the citizen, and that is contrary to democracy. One of the difficulties with the Knesset system is that it discourages even failed politicians from leaving office or members of Knesset acting against the government out of fear of losing power. Whatever vices that human beings have, and we all have these vices, the system entrenches it, maximizes it, and what it's generating is egotism. That's what it's doing. So what's the ambition? The ambition of a person is to get into the Knesset. That's the, the road to becoming a cabinet minister, and that's where the power is. And that's one of the basic problems of this country. Now, there you have a man Olmert, who has publicly criticized by a very prestigious Winograd Commission. Any person in a situation like that would resign. He didn't resign. Why didn't the Knesset have a vote of no confidence? Because members of the cabinet will not veto a program submitted by the Prime Minister because if they were to veto it, that would automatically topple the government. The question that is raised by many is that while changes in the political system may be necessary, what changes should be implemented? We must have regional elections. The question is, do the sources, do the Torah sources give us any kind of lead, any kind of direction as to what form of government the Jewish people should strive to put in place here in the present-day state of Israel. Regional elections, making members of the Knesset individually accountable to the voters is not enough. We need a presidential system of government. We see in the Torah, for example, in the, in the book of the Midbar, book of Numbers, when Moses is about to die, he's, he turns to Hashem, turns to God, and he says, please appoint someone over the people so that the people, the Jewish people, will not be kathon, like a flock of sheep, who have no shepherd. The idea of appointing a person to rule and to direct and to uh, look out for the welfare of the Jewish people is, is first of all common sense. It's also written in the Torah. This is what Moshe Rabbeinu himself says to God, please appoint someone to, to direct and lead your people. There is no such thing as a perfect system. We've had, if we have a perfect system, the, the, the Torah so used to, you had a lousy king sometimes, and you had lousy kohanim, and so on, false prophets, and so on. There's no institutional substitute for wisdom and virtue. But, if you don't have the right institutions, even if you've got some wisdom, you're not going to get anywhere. That's, that's the point. So, that wraps up today's newscast. Join us again tomorrow for another edition. Until then, she won't follow us here. Arut Sheva, Israel National News.